this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve this differential equation so let's get started problem solve sin x cos y plus equal to x into dx plus cos x sin y plus tan y into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation sin x cos y plus equal to x into dx plus cos x plus sin y plus tan y into dy equals to 0. Consider it as equation 1. Which is all? m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Where by comparing these two, we'll get m equals to sin x cos y plus e power 2x and n equals to cos x sin y plus tan y. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation okay so we'll find the partial derivative of m and n m with respect to y and n with respect to x dou m by dou y equals to dou by dou y of m this is your m and is your n dou by dou y of m sin x cos y plus e power 2x since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so we'll treat x as constant the function containing x sin x is constant and here e power 2x is also a constant this is equals to dou by dou y of sin x cos y plus dou by dou y of e power 2x. Okay, this equals to constant sin x into derivative of cos x, sorry, derivative of cos y with respect to y plus derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. This equals to sin x into derivative of cos y is minus sin y. This is equal to minus sin x into sin y. So therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to minus sin x into sin y. Minus sin x into sin y. Now we'll find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is equal to dou y dou x of n. Cos x sin y plus tan y. So here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So x and function containing x is treated as constant. So here sin y is constant and here tan y is constant. This is equal to dou by dou x of cos x into sin y plus dou by dou x of tan y. This is equal to constant into partial derivative of cos x with respect to x plus Partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 is equal to sin y into derivative of cos x is minus sin x is equal to minus sin x into sin y. Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to minus sin x into sin y.
according to sin y. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to minus sin x into sin y, which is equals to dou n by dou x. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Since dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x, from this we can say that the given differential equation or equation 1 is an exact equation. Therefore, 1 is an exact equation. So now we'll find the solution to the given exact differential equation. We know that the general solution of an exact equation is integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant c. So firstly we will consider integral over x m into dx. This equals to this is integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. Equals to integral m sine x into cos y plus e power 2x into dx. So here cos y is treated as constant. So this equals to integral sine x cos y into dx plus integral e power 2x into dx. So this equals to, let's write the constant outside the integral. Cos y into integral sine x into dx plus integral e power 2x into dx. This equals to cos y into integral sin x dx is minus cos x plus we know that integral e power ax into dx is equals to e power ax by a. So this becomes, so from this we will get e power 2x by 2. This is equals to minus cos x into cos y plus e power 2x by 2. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into d. You're having n equals to cos x sin y plus tan y. So the terms of n which is free from x is tan y. This is equals to integral tan y into dy. Integral tan y is log secant y. Therefore, the general solution of the given equation is result obtained from integral over x m into dx that is minus cos x cos y plus e power 2x by 2. Plus integral of terms of n free from x. Result from this is log secant y equals to constant c. 
Okay. You can also write the solution as Firstly, we can write the positive term e power 2x by 2 minus cos x cos y plus log secant y equals to c or 1 by 2 into e power 2x minus cos x into cos y plus log secant y equals to c. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.